I'm sitting and taking a break from a couple stressful days. Hold it, I'm at the wrong place. This is where you sit to unwind after a long couple days. Oh, it's time for a garden tour. That will be fun and non-stressful. Let's go do that. Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and I'm gonna do a garden tour. I am doing a lot of stuff. I'm assuming Gary is too, but I will let you know. We may run into him, but he's not here. He is trying to get his truck out of here. It got stuck. Well, it didn't get stuck. Stuck is not the word. It broke down and we don't know what's wrong with it. And well, that's what he's working on today. Look at his society garlic. It's blooming. So we're just gonna kind of use this as a path to walk through. So you can see what is going on here. I have been harvesting a ton of this and making this every night, just cutting them down or just breaking off the leaves, putting them in a pot with butter. And they're so good. A little water, steam it, and then add in butter. You've got leftover, add it to scrambled eggs the next day, if you've got leftovers. And it is so good. So he's working. I don't want to kind of disrupt any of his projects. I did see some Orioles today. They flew down from the feeders into his yard. So I don't know if they're nesting here or not. He's got a lot of sow thistle with flowers and you've seen this. So we'll have to see. Oh, there's doing weed abatement. So let's kind of go through. So that's all we're going to see here today. I'm just using this as a walkthrough. I'm not sure what that is, but we know that this is Jerusalem sage and it's going to flower as well. Let's keep walking. I can go through his tunnel. He's working on that. And then you'll see my garden. We'll just kind of do a hike up. So like I said, he's got his own project he's working on, which is the truck. They don't know if it's a starter. They don't know if it's a kill switch. It just won't start. This will be so cool once our weather warms up. Again, We've been cloudy, cold, and drizzly all day, and then it rained the other night, so our weather has not improved. There's this truck. So I don't know what's going on with that. So we'll see. Look at these cannas are flowering. Aren't they pretty? Okay, let me go hike up the hill and do my garden. I'm going to have to get out of here. They're doing weed whacking, and so the, here's the truck. Gary's working to try to clear out. So what is going on? The beautiful wood chips is his car broke down. We don't know if it's a starter. Somebody said it wasn't. Then they said it was a kill switch. Then they said it was a fuel thing. But it it almost sounds like it's gonna start and it doesn't. So he's been, deal we've been dealing with this for two days. And I'm starting to think, pushed over a little bit, it might make a really nice planter. So I don't know. So he's just kind of, I don't know what he's doing. I guess he's making it wider. So I'm going to kind of mosey on up so you can see all the things I've been doing in my garden, which is exciting. I'm walking by. You're making the road wider. Trying to move the wood chips to let the ground dry up. Okay. Wave to everybody. I know you've got a busy day. All right. We're going to keep going up. One guy came. He got it up to here. And then he let the truck roll back. So that didn't work out. Yes, we have AAA, they won't touch it. They will not touch anything 20 feet off pavement. I did not know that, so that was good to find out. All right, so let's continue on up. So now we're on the top. Look how beautiful all the aloe vera is gonna flower. That one did already, but see all the new spikes coming up? That is really cool because the Orioles and the hummingbirds love them. Still need to clean all the fountains up, haven't really done much. But look, remember that plant? The, it's a water plant, isn't that gorgeous? It's got all new leaves, so it's doing really good. So I've gotta to get to this, but one thing at a time. All right, so the truck bed I haven't touched. We are collecting weeds, because when I see weeds on the ground, that is soil to me. I haven't done anything in the chair garden, so it's gonna look exactly the same as it did two weeks ago, which is okay, but I do wanna gut all this, and I'm gonna put watermelon in here, zucchini in here, probably tomatoes, when I get to it. Let's see, let's walk over here first. Collecting soil out of the totes. This is done. 
You probably saw the video on the turmeric. This is all turmeric and this is completely done. So now all I have to do is wait. And when the weather warms up, this should be a field of turmeric. Okay, now let's walk over here. This is where I've been working. I'm slowly going through and taking out anything that's already, you know, dead and can't be used. But here I did plant some stuff. I've got a zucchini in here. I put a picture in here. Nothing yet in here. I've got another zucchini in here. And this is just for layering. So this will hold water so I can water this pot. And I'll always have water underneath for that. Just started to remove some soil out of that. This I'm leaving temporarily. This is zucchini coming up from seeds. It could be a hybrid of who knows what. But here's the thing. If any of the plants I planted throw only male and only female, and this one throws the opposite, I can pollinate with that. So for now, I'm gonna leave it. It is way too many. Might thin some out fairly soon because see, they're gonna flower. And I can use that for pollinating my zucchini until everything takes hold. Took everything out of there, but I haven't planted in that yet. And here's another zucchini. So I've got this here. And again, I actually, if I, I hope I remember, I found a little piece of turmeric because I moved some of the soil from there and I stuffed it in there. This is for this. So this is the zucchini. I put a rock here. You know why I like rocks? Sometimes I put it all the way around. When you go to water it, you're not going to hurt the plant if you water the rock. And then the water will run around it and it won't damage the plant. Have not done anything here. I probably will harvest my potatoes fairly soon to see what's in there. We've been so cold. A lot of potatoes don't like it when it's really cold that the odds are they're going to be small potatoes, but I can take those potatoes and regrow them. And if there's a whole bunch, I can separate them and put multiple buckets there. Oh, there's a little lizard. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave this. I have so much Swiss chard, but I'm probably going to pull the boxes apart. I would never plant in boxes from last year. They actually draw water away from my plants. I may put new boxes. So we'll see what happens there. Haven't gotten to this yet either. Look at this. I was gonna pull it out, but I've got a zucchini tree. This is a cocoselle. See the stripes? It looks like it's, yeah, see the stripes on it? And I strung it up. I protected the trunk with tool and I strung it up and it's got some zucchini. Now all the zucchinis, most of the flowers have fruit, but they need to be pollinated. And that's why I'm waiting to see if that one down there throws some male flowers. If not, I may try to pollinate it with the shark fin melon. I still will need male flowers in order to get the zucchini to get sized. I'm not sure if any of those got pollinated. And all down here, no, I haven't done anything yet. I'm in the process of gutting it out and changing things around. Going to take the tool down. Probably will take the irrigation tubing down because I have better ways of doing it. I may leave that because that was quite successful, but the plant wasn't. A plant actually got attacked by this pepper tree. It went in there during the cold season, blocked the holes, and then it wrapped around the tree, the um, eggplant. So I think that eggplant is gone. So we'll start over. The peppers are doing good. Now, this is the only grow bag that's been successful. And I've left it because one thing, you know, it's still struggling. I'm going to have to see if the roots got back in here. But that is okay to grow as far as peppers because peppers don't like a lot of water. So for a grow bag, it would be okay. But I still do far better in plastic pots because it retains the water. And I know exactly what is going on with my plants. Most of this is going to be gutted. I'm probably going to put a zucchini on top there. I'm going to take care of all the sorrel because I really like sorrel. I'm going to redo those containers. This is still lettuce. This is a lettuce field that I take from. I can take one. See how I put one in here? Look how beautiful it is. And these will stay small until I separate them. So nothing here. Nothing much because I haven't done anything here. Let's go in the front yard though. Now we're in the front yard. And I will say, I haven't done anything, and it looks spectacular. By the way, if I sound tired, I am. I have been on the phone, and let me tell you something. So many tow services, they were scams. And when they came out, they weren't the service I called, so it's been one issue after another. So I'm exhausted, but I wanted to get the garden tour for you. And we'll figure it out, and if it doesn't work, I've got a new planter, and I'll go find a car online. I don't know. But anyways, the finger lime is doing great. Look at the geraniums. Aren't they beautiful? They're flowering everywhere. They're just gorgeous. And look at the brassicas. 
I'm leaving this for the wildlife. And there's insects on there. See the insects? See the aphids? The bush tits love this. The little birds, all kinds of little birds come and get them. Even certain insects come and eat that. So let them have that. It's not doing me, you know, any harm. So why not? I love the geraniums, but look at this. Now I do go through and pick the tops and I've been steaming them. But let's keep going over here. Look at the walking onions. They're walking everywhere. And remember, leaves are our friends. Just drop it down there if you have no time to do anything. Oh my goodness, I have another one. So this one's in here. Oh, and another one. Okay, let me tell you what I did. And I just did a video on this too. I had a big, and well, I'll show you where when we go into the bird garden, a super big sprouting broccoli, a purple one. Now, I did the whole video, so if you want to know why I said beginners shouldn't grow it, and I will say that, beginners shouldn't, unless they're aware of it, is because it only sprouts once a year, in a certain time of the year, but look how beautiful. You can continue to pick them until it's done. Once it's done seeding, it won't do it again. But I did cuttings, so when the plant was going, I wanted it out. It was too big, and I was moving things around. Gary took one in his yard. He doesn't know if he still has it or not, but look at this. I did cutting, so I've got one in here, and I've got one growing in here, and then of course I've got that one. So I know for sure I've got three. See the difference? This is green, and this is purple. Now this does have a few insects on there, which is no big deal. And see all the seed heads it's gonna grow? Between each leaf all the way down. Now I could do cuttings on it right now, but if I do, it may not take, because the plant right now Let's say the hormones in the plant, that's probably not right, but you got the idea, is telling it to go to seed. And if I try to make it root, it may not. So I'm gonna leave this, and I'm gonna make sure this is well documented with you and me, you'll have to remember for me, that this is purple sprouting broccoli, that one is purple sprouting broccoli, and in there. So I threw a few cuttings in pots in different places, and they took. The problem was, once it started growing, I couldn't remember what was what because it wasn't labeled. And now that it's going to seed, you can see the difference because it's purple. See, even the stem's a little purple. But once it's done, it just started, and it starts anywhere between March and April, it will be done. You'll get no more broccoli off of it, no more seed heads, and then you can use the leaves. So I'm excited because I didn't see that yesterday. This is so odd. I came out and I took a bunch of those the other day, but I did not see that. This is parsley going to seed. So that is really cool. So now I know I've got three. So and this one's a green one. See, it's, you can't tell because it's not really sunny. It's very cloudy. But this is green, the seed heads. And that's how you know. So pur they call it purple sprouting broccoli because you're getting like spears. You're not going to get a big head off of that. And that is really cool. There's my chamomile. I want to collect the seeds on this because this plant I haven't grown in two years and there must have been some seeds left in there and with all the rain, we now know it needs a lot of water. Look at that, it is gonna have seeds. So cool, I'm gonna get some more, here's another one. And I didn't plant that for years. And then here's another one, I let it go to seed. See, this is the thing, it's green, it's completely different. This is just a tree colored, so it's not gonna do anything. It may throw some seeds at some point, but it will look very different. But that is a tree colored. All right, let's go down and take a look down here. Got my geraniums everywhere, look at that. They grow like weeds. You break a piece off, stick it in some bricks, you know, uh, cement blocks, and they grow. Isn't that amazing? I stuck that in there last year and didn't do anything, and look how beautiful this is. Now here is the ginger turmeric table. I haven't done anything yet, but it's all done. So it's just a matter of me going through I will turn the top a little bit because I don't want any of these weeds to grow. All I want to grow in here is ginger and turmeric. And I'm going to freshen these up a little bit more just by simply turning them because it is already full of leaf matter and all kinds of stuff. I mean, there's compost working right now. I'm sure if we dug deep enough, we probably would find some earthworms. See how beautiful the soil is? This is what came out of there. You saw the video when I harvested it all and now it's waiting and we're gonna put them back. Now that is stevia and that is stevia, but these are all weeds, just different types of weeds, which like I said, we're gonna pull it all out. Then it's gonna be real simple. I'll take you with me how easy it is to grow ginger and turmeric and I'll get this all set up. 
So I can't wait, but it's still too cold. As you can see, we're cloudy and we are getting to about 50 at night, but it's not warm enough for ginger and turmeric to start growing. Now let's go into the bird garden. Compost, it's rotten. But like I said, it doesn't matter. I just sat it here and I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put it. It's still good. It doesn't matter. Even though it got rained on and everything, a lot of the green matter broke down. The eggshells break down and no longer. It takes much longer. So they're still sitting there. But as you can see, everything else went brown. And that's okay. Look at the tree color. I do have to trim that out, but I'm waiting because I need to get all this out to move this. And we're getting real close. I'm almost ready to do that. See all the different brassicas are going to seed. So they're all got the beautiful heads. Remember, if you're growing a lot of that, you can eat that. And there's nothing wrong with it. And take it off and treat it just like you would broccoli. This, I believe, is a broccoli. I let it go to flower, but this is coming out or it's going to break my toe. And it will be 100% my fault. That is going to go in here. All that, all that's brown. Everything that died back there is going in here. And then I'll probably take a lot of that down. That's the tree colored. And that will go in there. And some of the purple tree colored will go in there. Let's keep walking. Oh, there's birds taking a bath. They're so cute. We well, just took off. Oh my goodness, one of my sticks came off. So I've got to get another longer pull or redo that. All done, rewired, strung from there to there. Now the birds can eat. As soon as I finished, I ran back to put it up. Look at the spotted toey on the bottom there. They are absolutely gorgeous. Then of course the doves are all over. We still have white crowns. And then in the feeders, we've got the house finches. The males are red. The females are not. And there's been goldfinches coming in, bush tits. The orioles have been coming in and taking a bath. And the hummingbirds, they've been feeding on the hummingbird lunch. But it was nice. Like I said, I walked through, did this, and before I even went back in the house, I went and strung that pole back up so I can get my feeders hung up. What happened was the tree limb snapped, so it wasn't quite as long, and I thought I was going to have to find the longer one, but I figured out another way to put it up. So now it's back up. It's shorter, but it doesn't matter, and I can get some more and do it later. This is relaxing. I need this. Just to sit back, which I did, and watch the birds. I so love it. This has been really fun. The birds are here all day. Now I'm walking through, so they just took off. This is mint all over the ground. It's spearmint. You shouldn't grow mint in the ground, but for me, it doesn't matter because we're fairly dry, especially in the summer, and I can pull it out, and I will be cutting a lot of this back very soon. Now, with the mint, I will not be putting the mint into any of the compost bins, especially the silver one over there because I don't want it to grow. So mint is the only thing I usually trash. If you don't want to trash it, you can pile it up and compost it down till it's gone completely. Otherwise it will grow and that's the last thing I want. This is one of my favorite. This is called the hummingbird's lunch. This is a favorite plant of theirs and this has flowered all year long and there's another one back there. The plant almost died away and I put, oh my goodness. Looky, looky. I have to go back and get these because if I don't, they're gonna open up and then you can't eat them. Oh my gosh, boy, did I stick them all over. And this is what happens when you don't label. You get a surprise, but that's a good surprise. That is a really good surprise. Here's the salvia. See the difference? This is so cute and hummingbirds get in there and feed. These went dormant all winter and they just popped back to life now. But this is just amazing. It went all through the winter and continued to throw flowers. This is my plant. I love this plant. It's so beautiful. And it's gone to seed. Everything's going to seed. Within about a month or so, it will be done. I wonder if there's any more purple broccoli because I didn't know there was a purple sprouting broccoli there. They must have just popped open. See, this one's purple, but it's not purple sprouting broccoli. It's some sort of hybrid that came up. See how beautiful the flowers are? But this is good for the birds that need some pollen and insects. I mean, the hummingbirds will feed on all that too. And you can't even see my fountain back there. So I'm going to have a whole lot to put in that raised bed when I start getting to that. It's probably in about a week or so I'm going to start doing that. Here's another one. But this is this is like my plant. And this one's got a seed head. See the difference? It's green. So I've got a lot of trimming to do back here. And I'll have a whole lot to compost. I'm really excited about that. This is so big it's breaking everywhere. Isn't that something? Look at that. This is a massive tree collard. I think you remember I had one a long time ago, this big here, and then it finally died. I mean, it got so big, 
it just died back, but I want to get a ton of cuttings off of that. And I don't need to label it because I can recognize this anywhere. And then that's it. Here I'm going to change things up. I have ideas in my head on what I want to do. I'm covering this because something's eating the tops. But when I threw tool on top, nothing touched this. So it's making me think it must be birds munching on it. Because if it was a rat, it would just go underneath. And it's not trying. So it must be birds. So I could just drape tool and make different hoods for them. That is actually in the ground. That's not in the bucket. There it is. In the ground. Garlic chives in the ground. I've got all this in the ground. Some of them are in pots, open bottoms. But the purple tree colors in the ground. Again, look at this. This is my plant. And notice, I want you to see this. When it throws seed heads, the leaves get smaller. When it's done seeding, the leaves will get bigger again because it's putting all its energy into producing seeds. Now this one's alive, but I think I'm gonna take the tomato out and start over. All right, let's keep going. So yes, all the energy goes into making this, feeding the seeds because it takes a whole lot. If my voice is dry, it's from being on the phone all day trying to get people to come out and see if they can get to the truck. So my voice is just completely dried out. The so celeries are doing good. I'm going to clean that up. I might put a pot in there and leave the celery because I've been using a lot of that. It just needs a good cleaning. And of course, this is my beautiful pur uh, purple kale I've got. And I use this all the time. It just needs a good cleaning. All right, let's go through the gates. I'm making it quick today. Her weather's still been cold. And we've just been doing so many other things. So I'm trying to get all this done. Okay, citrus trees are doing fantastic. They're flowering everywhere. There is my rosemary. And you can see the bees probably flying around. We've got bees there. This is a salvia that we have bought last year. Fire dancer. And it's coming back. Isn't that beautiful? This needs a trimming. And I probably will put it in a bigger pot. And then I'll put it somewhere else so it will take off. We don't really have much papayas left, and that's why I'm going to do something different in my garden. You'll have to watch and see, because I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to see if I can save the papayas there, because what I did the other day is I harvested two papayas, and we had one last night, and they're absolutely delicious. I don't know. Remember, they're more of a tropical plant, and they did not do well with the cold. There's more rosemary back there, and I've got another rosemary back there. So we've got rosemary all through here. All bought at the 99 cent store one time. And they grew, oh, here. This is interesting. I'll let you see this. This is just some onions that I planted and they look really good. Isn't that how pretty they look? And look how bad these look. These look like that. And what I did was I cleaned them up. Took all the yellow stuff off and just everything. Cut them all down and it turned out like that. Can you see how, what, what a difference just by a little grooming? Isn't that cool? And these are the potatoes. And I know there's some potatoes in here, but I want to start over. The plant looks terrible and we've gone through such bad weather. I'm going to tip this, see what's in there and replant it and let it take over. Haven't done my strawberries yet. Zinnias are doing real good. I'm getting ready to do something there, but it's all set up. Just a matter now of filling it. And then here, you know, I did it all. It's all done. It's a matter of planting. So I've got a broccoli in here. I think it's a sprouting broccoli, mustard. And this is the eggplant I moved. And you know, it looks like it might make a comeback. But I also started some Black Beauty eggplant by seed, which is doing fantastic. And I'm thinking of sticking one in there. And if it takes off better than that one, I'll compost that one and leave the new one. My lettuce, keep harvesting and it keeps growing and I'm protecting it, no insects. So we keep getting lettuce. This is ready to plant something in here. I'll probably move the zinnias out. And then there's, again, my purple kale. I love that. It's a cutting I did. This I'm going to leave because everything in here is good. If the pepper is not going to come back, once the weather warms, I may pull that out and start a new pepper in there. I've got plenty of pepper plants. This is my pepino. I'm going to leave the pepino. And this is red vein sorrel. It's doing so well. And they're not annuals. They're perennials. And they can go for a, a very long time. So I might as well leave it. The milkweed came up on its own, and I know the monarchs like it. So for now, I'm going to leave the milkweed. I've got one that came up there, and one little one that came up here, and I threw some seeds in here. I don't know if it's going to make it or not. I don't think that's it. That looks like mustard. You know what I threw in here? Watermelon. I had an old watermelon, believe it or not, we did not eat. So I put it in there, I mushed it up, put it in there, and I put it in there. And I thought, if the seeds grow, 
good. And if they don't, I'll get watermelon in there a little bit later. Nothing in here, all ready to plant. And then again, this is just where I'm propagating and putting seeds. And here's my turmeric that I collected the other day. And you know what? Stores really good in here. So I'm leaving it here and that's it. So we have made a circle. And like I said, I'm going to apologize if I sound tired, but it's been two days of trying to see who can either fix it or tow it. And nobody wants to go down that road and try to get it. They said it's, they can't do it. There's got to be somebody, but no. And then that, like I said, it's, you've got to be so careful. Here's a tip. I went on my phone, which I really prefer using the computer, and I typed in my city for a towing company. It gave me a towing company that looked amazing. Beautiful website and everything. It was fake. My daughter looked it up. She said, it's fake. I said, look at the, the ad. And I sent it to her. It came up on my phone. Total fake. Even we had one guy come out. It was a real service. I don't want to say the name. I should say the name. And it turned out with their name, it wasn't real. They, it was a phone number and then they call, they have a fancy, beautiful website, but all they do is send somebody, told them to send the four wheel drive. And instead they sent the truck, a small truck and he couldn't get it. And he said, there's no such thing as a four wheel drive tow truck. I said, well, that's very interesting because she told me that's what was coming. And so he couldn't do it. So you have to be really careful. He demanded money. So you've got to be really careful. Another one wanted my credit card and to pay up front before they got here. So I didn't even bother with that one. So we'll see. We'll figure it out one way or another. Or like I said, got that white truck bed down there. That's why that's a planter because we couldn't get rid of it. We tried to give it away. Nobody wanted it. We'll see what happens to our truck. I like our truck. I know it's old, 2001, but I still like our truck. Here's my car, 1998. And it was used when I bought it and I still like it. So we're not completely without a car. We have that. But now Gary doesn't have the truck that he drives all over until we get it out of his garden. So, oh, well, what are you going to do? Life goes on, doesn't it? It's exciting every day. You never know what's going to happen. So I hope you enjoyed this. My pizza garden is doing wonderful. I am really excited. Look at the oregano I planted. Is that perfect? Smells so good. So I got oregano. I got rosemary in here. This is a cutting I did. Look at that in the pot and leaving it. This is still hanging in there, but I'm going to direct sow in some basil in there. I was going to start it in the house, which I did start a cup, but I'm thinking I might just freshen this up and there might be basil already coming up and I'm going to get basil in there. I don't think I'm going to grow walking onions in here. I have sage, which is about ready to flower. Oh, cool. And then of course my thyme. The tomato is going to go out. I'm going to keep this probably real, um, pizza-like with the herbs that I want. I may put some peppers because I do like putting peppers on there, but I like sweet peppers. And then I've got the peppers there. Those, that's the only thing I grew in there last year because I didn't fill this up yet. I'm getting close. These were, these really need to be picked, don't they? These are the Fresnos, a little Fresno one I transplanted. But see, I didn't even put anything in there. So we're going to get this all set up as I get ready to start gardening more. But all this is pretty much done. Just a matter of putting in the totes what I want. And I'm probably going to put a zucchini over there. I'm going to put something else with the broccoli. I may move that eggplant, like I said, and put a new eggplant in there. And then I'll get to those totes. And boy, do I have a lot of totes. Some of you have asked me how many. Gary said he has 83. I have no idea. I have never counted, probably for fear that I don't want to. But I, I'll give a count one day and I'll let you know what I've got. But I haven't counted them. I'm just happy that I started down there and I've got three of them completely done. Actually, four. If I want to get rid of the squ uh, squash that's growing in that one, the wild squash, the seeds from last year, I can do that at any time and then dig it in and plant something else. But I figured I'm going to wait. We'll see what happens because I've got plants that are already throwing flowers and fruit. They just might need some males for pollination. So with that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. I know you've been playing on the deck, but I found more purple broccoli. Look at that. She loves her purple broccoli. I'm going to steam the rest that I picked. We'll eat it cooked. So the sun's come out. It's a little later now in the day. And here's the dilemma. I have a female. See, I don't even know if that one took, but I've definitely got a female there and I need to go find a male flower of any type to pollinate that. And I don't have a lot of zucchini. Let's go see if I can find one. So I have searched all over. Look at all the fruit I've got. That one doesn't look like it's going to make it. See how it turned yellow back there? 
This one may not get any bigger because it may not have gotten pollinated. And I don't think this one will take off either. I can't find any males and that one was a female and there's no other flowers opening. And I have looked all over, even the ones I'm keeping right now temporarily that came up in my compost are not flowering yet. It's a little early. So if Gary can find the fig leaf gourd, which he said he can, I just checked mine and they're growing, but they're not in the flowering state yet. So I don't know. But next time what I'm gonna do is when I have extra male flowers, I'm going to put them in the refrigerator or freeze them. That can work too. And then I can come back with the pollen and pollinate some in case I don't have any. So for now, I guess I'll let it get a little bigger. It'll probably get about that big, chop it up, and maybe put in a stir fryer eggs. Oh well, more to come soon. And I wanna thank everybody that are members, that contribute to our channel, that's greatly appreciated. Gary's happy to, and so is Kitty. And I wanna thank everybody who watches. It's a lot of fun. I love the questions that come in. I may not answer them all right away, but I keep that in my head so I know when I'm making videos to get those questions answered in the videos that are coming up. So with that, again, have a wonderful day. Don't forget to eat what you grow. And yes, Gary now has to carry his camera equipment to the garden because so far his truck is still parked down there. You know, the inside cab would make a really cool greenhouse. I was thinking about it. And the outside, well... That would be really cool too, to plant in. And yes, even though I'm making this, she always feels she's gotta be rewarded, Kitty. She's waiting. And that still hasn't been planted and it's already growing broccoli. Broccoli is incredibly fast, keep that in mind. But bye everybody. At least she got her broccoli fresh out of my mini greenhouse.